what if you could sketch something by your own hand and bring it into existence? I've tested quite a few 3D printers and laser engravers, but this one genuinely surprised me. I literally drew right on the screen, hit start, and watched it come to life. No extra software, no cables, just simple, straightforward engraving. And here's the kicker. It's small enough to fit on a desk, doesn't need a computer to run, and somehow still works with over 300 materials. So what is it? Well, this is the Algo Laser Pixie. And the folks at Algo Laser sent this over for me to check out, and I've been putting it through its paces. I took a really good look at the Pixie, and I have some thoughts. But first, what do you think? Would you ever use a laser that doesn't need a computer? Well, let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear your take on it. The Pixie is Algo Laser's latest model, and right away it's clear they're aiming for simplicity. No computer, like I said, just plug it in and you're off if that's what you want to do. Comes with a full touch screen, a really nice mobile app, built in air assist, and a couple of different power options 3 watt, 5 watt, and the one I tested out is the 10 watt version. Now, when I say compact, I do mean it. And you can see here, from what I've seen, this is probably the smallest fully enclosed laser engraver out there. Well, I didn't film an unboxing because, well, this is it. There's not much to unbox. You get the laser, a few tools, and that's pretty much it. It arrives completely assembled, no setup steps, no wiring, no confusion. You just plug it in, power it on, and you're ready to draw or engrave. The touchscreen gives you pretty much all the controls you're going to need. You can even load files right from the USB stick. Now, it runs on Algo OS, which I've used before with their mobile app, and it's all just really simple and honestly kind of hard to mess up. Before I got started, though, of course, I had to run a couple of firmware updates, and that's over the air, just like with most 3D printers, and it only took a few minutes, then I was ready to go. Now, I do want to say if you want more control than the touch screen or even the app allows, you can connect it to the computer with a USB-C cable, thank you, and then run Lightburn or Laser Gerbil however you say that. What that means is you're not locked into proprietary tools, which is awesome. But honestly, if you don't want to, you may never need to connect it. Digging in, you'll see design-wise the Pixie's really a standout. It kind of reminds me of the old Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. Do you remember them? Kind of little dark, sleek, futuristic. We're not Cylons from Alex Doctor Who show. More importantly, it's clear that safety was a big priority. The entire thing's fully enclosed and rated as a Class 1 laser, but it's safe for indoor use. If you open the lid during a job, well, that laser immediately shuts off. And that made filming a little tricky, but I managed a few things. Definitely don't try that part at home. Looking inside the touchscreen interface, there's even a lock screen that works like a digital child lock. Plus, it has tilt and fault protection, so if this machine ever gets bumped or knocked over, well, it's just going to shut itself down automatically. If you're working in a shared space or around kids or pets, well, that's a feature definitely worth having. Safety! Safety! Time for safety! On the build side, there are a few things I really liked. The Z-Height is adjustable using a manual knob right on top, which makes fine-tuning quick and easy. And there's a 0.03 millimeter laser spot size with a 0.01 millimeter engraving accuracy. That's good enough for most detailed work and definitely impressive, especially at this size. The base has a really handy grid layout for drop-in positioning, and that helps a lot when you're lining up smaller items, which is what you're going to be using this for. There's also a built-in exhaust fan, and remember to keep in mind you're still going to need to attach a hose or use an air purifier, some way to get that away from you, especially if you're working indoors. And the software? Well, like I said before, it's super intuitive. It's divided into sections like projects, where you can test included files. There's Algo Type, where you can actually just type in some quick text for engraving. Control, 
obviously does movement options very similar to most 3D printers, except for the Z. Algo Sketch, which lets you draw your own designs with your finger or the stylus, and that's where that came in I mentioned earlier. And then there's something called reverse engraving mode, and that boosts the contrast of your engravings, and that's great for dark woods or anodized metals. But one of the smartest features that I found is the material support library. And it's built right into the system and automatically adjusts power and speed settings based on what you select. So for a beginner, that's going to be incredibly helpful. The Pixie, like I said, supports over 300 materials, everything from leather and stainless steel to 13 millimeter plywood. And there's even an optional rotary tool if you want to engrave on carved surfaces like tumblers or rings. And by the way, drop a note in the comments now and let me know what your favorite material to engrave on is. I'm always looking for new ideas. Let's take a look at how that mobile app works because honestly, this is where the Pixie really shines. The onboard screen is great for simple projects, but if you want more control, the app really is where you're going to want to go because you've got a lot more flexibility. I decided to start with one of the preloaded images, a bear graphic, and just to test things out. Right away, the app's going to give you options to crop, adjust, and apply effects if you want. And once you're happy with the design, well, just move into the setup screen. Across the bottom, you're going to see a row of icons that'll help you get everything dialed in. Now that first icon, that's a preview which lets you check placement and scale. And I was using a 99.5 millimeter square basswood board, so I resized the bear to about 90, trying to give it some room in there. And you can use the laser preview tool to double check alignment on your material. Next is configure, and this is where the magic's going to happen. You pick your material, in this case I selected basswood plywood and the app automatically adjusts the power and speed based on the presets and you can see that up at the top. It's fast and removes a lot of guesswork especially if you're not into constantly fiddling with settings and for this first test I decided I'm just going to leave everything as is except I thought I would try to turn on both filling and contour since they both allowed me to turn them on and I think I hope that should maybe engrave the bear and then cut around it, but the app estimated 17 minutes, so I guess we'll find out in a little bit, and then hit start. Then you're going to get a confirmation dialog, but you still have the option to go back to preview if you need to verify your cut areas and that type of thing, and well, that's when I remember that the door must be shut when using the app. Now, again, that's not great for videoing, but completely understandable. A really nice feature with using the app is that it shows a real-time progress bar while it's working. And honestly, I wish more engravers, <laughs> come on, even 3D printers had this feature. 17 minutes later, right on schedule, well, the job was done. And the bear looks great, but it didn't cut all the way around like I thought and hoped. So that's probably going to be a misunderstanding on my part with how the contour setting works in conjunction. Anyway, I'll dig into that one later, but the results do look really sharp. And the whole process from start to finish was way easier than it had any right to be. There you go, the Algo Laser Pixie. It's small, smart, and genuinely easy to use. Between the touch screen, the mobile app, and those computer options, well, you have tons of flexibility, and it's clearly aimed at beginners and small-scale makers who really just want to create stuff without all those usual tech hurdles. No, no crazy technology. Is it for everyone? Probably not. If you need a large working area or if you're doing production level engraving, well, obviously this isn't going to be your go-to. But if you want or need a portable, safe, and beginner-friendly laser that can still handle some pretty serious materials, I'm convinced the Pixie absolutely delivers. You could set the Pixie up next to your 3D printer at a craft fair or a pop-up shop, and, well, now you have a whole new way to offer custom gifts, signs, coasters, keychains, and even engraved 3D prints or leather wallets. I mean, it could pay for itself pretty quick. 
If you're curious to try it out, I've added links in the description for the Pixie and some materials that they offer, and they are affiliate links, so they help support the channel if you decide to pick anything up. And if you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot if you'd subscribe and check out some of the other videos. Let's keep 3D printing and lasering, and most of all, let's learn, create, and amaze.